What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren and we have some great news about some new MCU projects coming sooner rather than later. Characters that people have been waiting for for a long time now. We're talking about characters like Nova, the Silver Surfer, plus some updates about Moon Knight and that second season we've all been waiting for. Now unfortunately there is kind of good and bad news that comes with this new recent report about Nova. The good news is Marvel Studios wants to develop a Nova series series. However, they already had, let's call it a first draft of the series and they scrapped it. So they were working on it, decided it wasn't that good and just tossed it away. So that's the bad news. But again, the good news is Marvel Studios still wants to produce this Nova project. So lots to break down in today's video. Let's get started. But if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. We're also doing a giveaway. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So we'll start off with the Nova news and this report is coming Coming from the insider Daniel RBK, he's been an insider in the community for a very, very long time now. He has a good track record and he states, Marvel is focusing on more street heroes for TV from now on and wants them to be more independent like Echo and Moon Knight. The only cosmic level project that could have a series is Nova. Marvel is still going back and forth with that after the first version of the Nova project that was in development was canceled. So like I mentioned, we'll talk about Moon Knight in just a bit because clearly Marvel has some plans for Moon Knight. But going back to Nova, we have heard that a Nova project has been in the works at Marvel Studios for a long time now. I feel like it's been years now, which makes sense because Nova, everything has really been there to set him up. With the decimation of Xandar by Thanos and Avengers Infinity War being talked about, that really set up a story for Nova. If the Nova force goes away from everybody and simply goes into one person, which could be Nova, then that story is there already. It's perfectly set up. And of course, Kevin Feige and the people at Marvel Studios know that. So the fact that they have been actively thinking about what to do with Nova and have already been working on a project for Nova makes a ton of sense. But like I mentioned in the beginning, as Daniel RPK states, they had something already on the table and they scrapped it. They canceled it. And now it seems like they haven't exactly made up their mind on whether or not they're going to go through with a Nova series or not. But but here is also a little bit of more good news that comes along with this. When the reports for Nova Project first came out, most of the reports stated that the Nova Project was going to be a special presentation. When Disney Plus kind of first came out, Marvel Studios had a lot of plans specifically for special presentations to introduce characters into the MCU to give them a little bit more backstory before they appear in other projects. That way they don't just get introduced in other projects and fans are kind of confused about who they are and what their backstory is. The perfect example of this is Werewolf by Night. Werewolf by Night and Elsa Bloodstone and also Man Thing were all introduced in Werewolf by Night, but Marvel Studios we know has plans for them down the road, specifically from what we've heard in a Midnight Suns related project, if it's not the Midnight Suns direct project itself. So that's what Marvel Studios did. They had a Werewolf by Night special presentation, so when they introduced Werewolf by Night and other characters involved in that project, Elsa Bloodstone Man Thing, when they introduced them in other projects, we'll know who they are. So Marvel Studios had a plan to do that with Nova and the Silver Surfer, which we're about to talk about in a bit. But according to Daniel RPK, the special presentation got scrapped and now they are considering doing an entire Disney Plus series for Nova. So that's the really good news. And just because the special presentation got scrapped doesn't mean that we won't get the series because we know Marvel Studios is doing a lot of revamping right now. They are evaluating what their strategy has been for the MCU for all of their content. They are drastically changing it. And from what we've heard, basically, Marvel Studios is going to be cutting back on Disney Plus projects in general. And whereas before they were going to focus a little bit more on the special presentation side, it doesn't seem like that is going to be the case anymore. So they could have simply decided decided, hey, let's not do a Nova special presentation, but let's try to focus on making it into a series and see how it comes out there. So just because the special presentation was scrapped does not mean that we are not going to get Nova in the MCU. Hopefully they are working on making Nova into a series right now, and that comes out good. And eventually we do get the Nova series. Now, like I also mentioned, Marvel Studios was and sounds like they currently still are working on a Silver Surfer project. A few days ago, Daniel RPK, the same insider, did 
did state that a Silver Surfer project is in the works and Marvel is currently searching for an actor for the role and they will make their debut in the Fantastic Four. Now much like Nova, we did know that Marvel Studios was working on a Silver Surfer project. I believe it was Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus who first reported this way back and they did state that at the time at least it was going to be a special presentation. And we've heard that most of the changes from Disney and Marvel Studios are going to come after 2025 so just because they aren't going to focus on special presentations anymore doesn't mean that we won't get any but also at the same time that may mean Marvel Studios has decided to move it from a special presentation to a series. For now we're not actually sure but one thing that is for sure since it's been reported by many reliable insiders at this point is that Marvel Studios is developing a project that is going to be about the Silver Surfer. Now one thing that is very interesting about this new report from Daniel RBK is that he states that the Silver Surfer is going to make his debut in the Fantastic Four film, meaning he's going to show up in the Fantastic Four movie before he does in his own project. And this is very, very interesting because we have heard that the Fantastic Four film might take place in another universe. So this means one of two things. One is that if the movie really does take place in another universe and the Fantastic Four team somehow gets pulled by the TVA into another universe or they get pulled into our main universe, which is going to happen eventually because we know that the Fantastic Four, the team that was just announced, is going to be our team for the next 10 plus years. And if that's the case, if they just get pulled from their universe into another, it seems like the Silver Surfer might go with them, which if you think about it, makes a lot of sense because probably by the end of the film with Galactic. Galactus being the main villain, the Silver Surfer will probably turn good by the end of the film and help the Fantastic Four defeat Galactus, or at least try to defeat Galactus. Because we've heard that they might actually lose to Galactus, and right before their world is destroyed, somebody from the TVA comes and grabs them and saves them. If that happens, they could grab the Silver Surfer at the same time, especially if he is fighting with the Fantastic Four. And if he's good by that point in time, of course they're going to want him for the fight for Secret Wars. So that's that's one option, but the other option is that the reports are wrong and the Fantastic Four might simply exist in our own universe. I think this is less likely because none of the heroes so far have heard of the Fantastic Four and especially Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, he didn't know who Reed Richards was. He made a joke about the band the Fantastic Four charting in the 60s, which is odd because the Fantastic Four film was going to take place during the 60s, but that seemingly points towards them existing in another universe. Otherwise, why wouldn't Doctor Strange know that they exist and where have they been this entire time if they were in fact in our main universe. So those are our two options and I think the first one is more likely and eventually we will go on to get a Silver Surfer project which is going to focus on the Silver Surfer which is why he has to exist somewhere in our main universe. Otherwise really what's the point? Why do a project about a specific character that will no longer exist in the MCU after the Fantastic Four movie? So one way or another the Silver Surfer is going to be with the Fantastic Four and with all of the other heroes in Secret Wars it sounds like. Now last but certainly not least, in Daniel RPK's report he stated that Marvel is focusing on more street heroes for TV from now on and wants them to be more independent like Echo and Moon Knight. Well this seemingly implies that Marvel Studios has plans for Moon Knight Season 2 or wants to do a Moon Knight Season 2. And Oscar Isaac and the director have expressed a lot of interest in making Moon Knight Season 2. And it just makes sense, especially with the new reports that we've been hearing recently about the Midnight Suns becoming a big focus for Marvel Studios, plus Kevin Feige wanting to focus more on street-level teams. It makes perfect sense to have a Moon Knight Season 2. And this seems to be the focus for Marvel Studios right now, making these more independent series. So it looks like Marvel Studios has their eye on Moon Knight and what to do with him next, especially before Avengers Secret Wars, because we'd have to imagine that there is some type of connection between Khonshu and Rama Tut, a variant of Kang the Conqueror. I think a lot of fans have made that connection and I think a lot of fans really want to see what that all is play out on screen. The great news is Marvel Studios really does seem to be reevaluating everything and changing what isn't working. You've all heard about the reshoots by now, the rewrites of scripts, the delays in all of the movies that have been pushed back because they need more time to work on them. This is all really great news. And we have some things to hold us over like Deadpool and Wolverine and Agatha, Darkhold Diaries, X-Men 97 is coming out soon. We have a lot of things to hold us over until we get to those postponed projects. 
projects. So it's totally worth it for Marvel Studios to reevaluate everything and make everything better. I think a lot of fans are really going to be happy with the outcome. But go ahead and let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. What do you think about the Nova news? What do you think about the Silver Surfer news? And who would you like to play both of these characters? Do you have an actor specifically in mind for either one? Let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, or some Marvel Legends items. The winner picks one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month. Only a couple of days left now. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.